All right, so this is just a follow-up video on my speed issues that I'm having on my computer. I'm using, still using Windows 7 Ultimate on this computer. The motherboard says it's rated for one gig of download speeds, but so far this is all I'm getting, 90.07. So this is just a follow-up video from what I did before when I was upgrading my modem and my network uh, switch or router and all the computers are getting the speeds they're supposed to except for this one so when I type in, let me get my keyboard here, I got it mounted on my tray um, go in, we type in NCPL no, PA NCPA dot CPL and I click on my network you'll see it's only getting 100 megabits per second. That's apparently the, the capability. I've tried updating the motherboard. I have not flashed the BIOS. I've had bad luck with that in the past. It says in the instruction manual it's rated to handle uh, one gigabit of, you know, gigabit per second, but I'm not getting it. So um, I'll go ahead and, you know, show you what I bought here and I'm going to be installing in my computer which hopefully will resolve this issue and maybe I'll finally get one gigabit per second download speeds on my computer even though I'm currently getting only 500 megabit you know, that's my current package so I'll show you what I got and then I'll install it in my computer and we'll see if it works alright this is my Intel gigabit PCIe network adapter I bought for my computer Got the adapter plates for uh, uh, small, you know, the uh, what is that? The compact version plate. But I won't need that. I'll use the existing plate that's on it for the Cat 5e cable, PCI One One Express or Express Times One, however you want to call it. So, yep, Intel Gigabit desktop adapter. So I'll go ahead and install this in my computer and it should be plug and play. There's no instruction manual that's included, no driver disk or anything, so it should just be recognized right off the bat. So yeah. Alright, I'll get my camera set up, open up my computer, and we'll get this installed and we'll try it out. Alright, so I got the side screws out here. I'm going to take this panel off, slide it out of the way a little bit. There we go. Just enough to slide it on in. Let me clean out the PCI-1. i got a couple of them here. I'll probably use that one. Yeah, it looks good. So, I'll need to probably switch the light over here and then pull this plate out Okay, and then we'll get the card. Get this light out of my way. You have a tight fit here, you gotta get your hand just right. Just like that, just clicks in place, and then we'll get the screw started. Okay. Alright, 
get it secured in place. I'll disconnect <coughs> my Ethernet. And we'll plug it in to the back of the new network card. Just like that. Get some light back there so you can see it. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and fire this thing up. See how it works. All right, so the internet adapter, driver, all that's installed. I actually updated it, you know, in case it doesn't work. This is something I just went ahead and tried, but I, you know, clicked on the on the adapter in the uh, uh, device manager and let it update off camera. So if it detects any new software, it'll install it automatically. Um, also, something you might want to check. Think was an issue for a short time is check the cable. Now sometimes you've got old cables, you know, like this one's got a bad connection on it. You know, the ends is broke, but it still works. Um, it's a Cat 5, but it is not a Cat 5e. So definitely check the cable to make sure it's working. If you do have a Cat 5e cable, um, there's possibly, you know, something might be damaged or it's not, you know ported properly in the connection that could be restricting it so that's always something to check out as well if you're supposed to be getting one gig speeds but uh, yeah so let's go ahead and double click on my local area connection look at that one gig one gigabit per second I now have the uh, speeds that I'm supposed to have so yeah probably a combination of my um, internet onboard internet you know or ethernet connection um, so let's go ahead and check the speeds now so we did have 90.12 for download uploads are fine so we'll go ahead and do an updated test of my speeds and see what I got now There we go. All right, we're close to 400. I'm supposed to be getting 500, but again, that's my, you know, my apathetic ISP that I'm stuck with because we have no other option here in town. Upload speeds are right where they should be, pretty close, not basically 9.5 downloads are 387.86 so yeah now I've got you know close to what I'm supposed to have I should have 500 megabits or close to it we'll try one more time Nope, cannot seem to break 400. So this is kind of the issue that I've been having with my internet service provider that I don't get the speeds I'm paying for. I'm paying for 10 by 500. So 10 megabit upload versus 500 megabit download. And as you can see, I'm only getting 378 for a download and 9.5 for uploads. So I mean, the uploads, not an issue. Downloads are. So... Well, at least this issue is resolved, but again, I still have to deal with my, you know, monopoly internet service provider about why I'm not getting the speeds I'm paying for. So that's been an ongoing thing or fiasco for years that I've had. So, oh, well, at least my speed issue is resolved. And, uh, yep, just something to check out. You know, if you're only restricted to 100 megabit per second, check your cables and if that's if the cables are good you know try them on another computer that's always something to try as well um, you know swap the cables for another one or get one of these adapters that I just bought and see if that solves your issues so hope that helps I'm wrapping this up and I'm gonna enjoy my faster speeds on my old Windows 7 ultimate computer so till next time adios